Hello. Hello, this is Shushankar Dayal from LibriProgramming.org and I welcome you to this uh, second part of Function Pointers, C Programming Tutorial Series Part 59. In this part, we will learn about how to use function pointers along with switch. Now, suppose uh, I have four uh, mathematical operations, plus, minus, multiply and divide, which are here. So these four uh, functions take two arguments that are two operands of each operation and return the result a plus b, a minus b, a multiplied by b or a divided by b where a and b are the arguments passed to the function. And then I have a switch function which accepts a and b and then it has a function pointed to it. So what it does is it calls that pointer to function and passes a and b to that and then prints the result. So whatever function pointer is passed to it, it will call that function. Yes. This is the main driver of the program. I have two floats a and b and operation is a car. So you can enter two floats a and b and operation. Now the operations are these. These are the valid operations plus minus um, asterisk and uh, uh, forward slash. So if it is plus, then the function registered here with switch functions is plus. If it is minus, then the function registered is minus. And similarly for multiplication, it is multiply and for division, it is divide and the default is break. So suppose you, if you enter plus, then it will be passed, uh, the plus address will be passed here and then it will register with that. The result will come from plus. But if you say minus sign, then minus function will get registered here because minus is passed then and appropriately result will be displayed. Let us run this. So suppose I give 2 and 3 and then I say plus. So my result is 5. Then I say uh, let's give something like 2.3, 2.3 and then we say then the result is 5.29. And if you want another run, 4.5 divided by say 9, then it will be 0 0.5. So you see how easy it is to directly pass the function name and appropriately the functions are called and the result is printed. Otherwise, you will be duplicating this at many places. Because your fun say for example print, now I have one print function. Now if you do it traditional way, this will be at four different places, this printf. And this line will also be at four different places. So that is one advantage you have if you do it this way. This is a very simple uh, way to do uh, function pointers. Note that uh, and this is the simplest way of write fun writing function pointers, so shorthand for those function pointers. So in the next part, uh, I will deal with uh, a more complicated example using function pointers and uh, we'll see how we can leverage the facilities given by function pointers. So if you have liked this video, you can hit like or if you do not like the video, then you can hit dislike. And if you think it is worth subscribing the channel, then you can also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Happy programming.